am I? This feels like Nantucket, but you don't look like the Nantucket people I knew. No matter, I'm Keziah Coffin. Keziah Folger Coffin. Visitors are coming into the museum, they're excited, and as, you know, an interpreter that welcomes them, we guide them to the highlights of the museum. And the highlight this year, of course, is the hologram. People's eyes light up, they're impressed, and then they come into the exhibit here, and they sit down, and it's a really intimate experience. People in one sitting, um, adults, youth, will listen to every one of these extraordinary women tell her story. So it's really, it's a whole experience in itself. It actually became real about two years ago when the NHA cut us loose to, act, to, to work on this. And we were given to a few different locations as to where we actually could, you know, could do it. And of course, each location required different, different dynamic, different engineering, different everything. And finally, they said, well, there is this office that we are not using. Can you make it work in here? What we're trying to do at the end of the day is just tell a story, effectively. Uh, the stories of these women that we have in here are really remarkable. They lived in a, a time that was just really fraught with things happening, slavery and uh, you know, the right to vote and war. Actually, it all started with Susan Boardman and her embroidered narratives. And Susan, in order to do them, spent a great deal of time at the NHA Research Library learning about these women. And that eventually wound up as an exhibit here at the Whaling Museum. It turned into a, a, a book that Betsy Tyler had written. And, um, and it just, it went on from there. Yeah, Eliza was an agitator. She was in the middle of it all. She, she knew everyone, she organized everyone, she got them together, um, and she led the charge. That is so oh, weird. I am now a hologram, which is kind of crazy. I could be there forever. I could be there longer than I'm here. <laughs> that's a little spooky. But I guess that's part of the point. Because it's spirits. It's spirits within us. And boy, did she have spirit. Oh my God, that Eliza. Whoo! Everybody thinks she was all about the genealogy, but no, she was a feisty one. She was a feisty, feisty agitator. Particularly fond of the natural sciences, agriculture, and history. I became a recognized botanist and entomologist. Insects, most fascinating. <laughs> well, we here at the NHA, we want to preserve and interpret the island's stories through programs and collections to foster an appreciation to different audiences. And this, you see, like we said, intergenerational. You see grandparents, children, and they're all just in awe and they're engaged. And this nowadays, you know, everyone's looking at their phone outside, their heads are down and their heads are up looking in that room. I'm Anna Gardner, and I'd like to tell you of the momentous struggles I witnessed in my 85 years on this good earth. I loved literature and writing poetry throughout my life and was drawn to the stories and legends of the Wampanoags who came to Nantucket centuries ago. And I yearned to see the world beyond the shores of Nantucket. So I was delighted when he invited me to join him on a voyage to the South Pacific in pursuit of sperm whales. There's a tablet right there. If you touch each image, you can meet each of them and they'll tell you in their own words about their own remarkable lives and the people they knew who inspired them. I'm one of them, so please be sure to choose me.